Hey guys, it's Miller from Bubbly Studios, and uh, I just made this uh, prop semtex grenade, and I uh, wanted to show you it and show you how I made it so you guys can make one if you wanted. Um, what I did was I was originally looking for videos for making prop bombs for a video, and then I found related videos about making semtex grenades, and I didn't really like any of them, so I just kind of made my own off my own ideas, and so. First I was looking for like a tennis ball, couldn't find one, I knew I had one but I couldn't find it and then I just took a baseball, which probably in the end worked out better. And I took some, um, kneadable, er uh, yeah, kneadable eraser or like moldable eraser, you can get it at like Walmart or probably Michaels for, Michaels for sure, Walmart, I don't know if they have it at your Walmart, but I had mine at, or I had some at my Walmart. And what it is, it's like, uh, this type of eraser, eraser that you can like rip apart and like bend and shape any way you want. And uh, I had barely had enough to cover the entire baseball with it. Like it's really thin. Like if like it's really hard still. So don't think it's like really squishy or anything. But um, yeah. So I I covered the entire thing in it with a flat layer of it. And then I took a uh, plastic pop uh, a plastic pop bottle cap and a I uh, I took a uh, exacto knife and made a hole here or I, I used an exacto knife and a, a scratching awl and made a hole here here over there and right over here and these these two were for the pin and the uh, ring pull ring and these two over here and here were for the uh, positive and negative cords and uh, after I made the holes, I painted it black, and you can see some of it scratched off, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, what I did for the ring, or not the ring, the uh, pin, is I took one of my sister's hair pins, or bobby pins, I don't know what they're called because I don't use them, but I uh, took one of them and stuck it through there. And then uh, I took a, a keychain ring, which is easy to find, pretty much and attach it to that and this comes out but I don't really want to because then I'll have to stick it back in oh by the way I didn't glue these down or anything I just stuck it on there that's how sticky this stuff is so it'll stay if you just stick it on there but anyway uh, you can pull this ring out but then it'll be kinda hard to get it back in unless you make the uh, hole really big or you could just take the cap off since it's not glued or anything and put it in and stick it back down but uh, okay I have that down now, or after that, what I did is I found a 9-volt battery. You can use, like, double A's or triple A's or whatever you want. And I uh, taped it. Well, I stuck it to the side first. And I took some electrical tape and wrapped it around to keep it uh, stable. You can use masking tape, but invisible tape or scotch tape just doesn't look good. So don't try that unless you just, I don't know, want to do it. Or if that's all you have, then it'll be fine. You can just paint it or leave it or whatever. But uh, then what I did is I took the... Uh, I took some red and black wires out of a, uh, oh, what did I take it out of? I think it was an old remote, but you can find this in pretty much anything that uses batteries. You can get a red and a black or whatever colors you want. It doesn't really have to be red and black, but that's what I chose because that's normally what is positive and negative for batteries and stuff. And uh, after that, I put it into the holes in the cap, and I pushed it into the uh, eraser like so it was all sticky. And then, at, like, some places I, like, put the uh, eraser over the uh, cord, or wire, I mean. Right here, this is just an LED, but it doesn't work. I just put it there for show. If you guys have, like, know how to do that LED stuff, it'll look really sweet if you actually uh, put flashing lights on it, because that'll just, like, add to the effect and look at, make it look way sweeter. Anyway, after that, I put it through here and just kind of made, like, weaved it around. And then I stuck it in the uh, positive or the negative thing that it belonged in. And same on this side. Uh, if you don't have a sister or like anything, you can put a, bo a bobby pin or get a bobby pin. I, I mean, you probably buy them at the dollar store like in like a really big pack for like a buck because they're really cheap. Then uh, which, if you don't have these and you have paper clips, you could do that with a paper clip. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But uh, yeah, this works better. I don't know why, I just like it better because it looks more penny. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did the, uh, like the cap and the uh, pen with the uh, paper clip. 
Okay, what I did was I took my X-Acto knife and kind of just cut wherever. Like a little hole right here. This one, this cap is like really cheap and easy to cut through. So you probably, if you have like a little water bottle cap like this, then you probably don't need a uh, an awl. But I'll just show you how to do it anyway. After you make your little, let me see. Can't see that. Yeah, well, you can't see it. Anyway, after you make your little hole, you're going to take the awl and stab it through there. And just kind of like push it through and make the uh, make the uh, hole bigger so you can actually fit the pin inside. See if you can see the yeah you can see that way better. Make it like that. Then you're going to kind of guess where the other side is, right about there, and do the same exact thing. There, that's better. I would not recommend using a water bottle cap because they're really cheap and like it kind of when you push the hole in, it just kind of like deforms the cap. But I'm just showing you how to do this, so you can do this with a pop bottle, or if you come up with any other type of cap type thing to put on top. You can use that, and it'll probably work the same way as long as it's stabable. Anyway, uh, this is what it should look like if you do with, do it with the paper clip. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. It's not even that hard. Okay, you're gonna bend the paper clip all the way out straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just bend it so it's more straight instead of all paper clippy okay then you're gonna grab the two ends and put your finger kinda where you think the middle is start bending down match these up as much as you can doesn't need to be the exact same length on each side Alright, it should look something like this now, with a little hole in the bottom, and these can be overlapping, they don't need to be right next to each other. So it can look like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it through one of the holes, and then stick it through the other hole. Alright, like that. Now if you have a longer end like I have, I have a short end right here and the long one right there. Take the longer one and bend it off to the side without poking yourself. And it should, the paper clip should stay in on its own. Otherwise if you leave it straight it might like push out on its own or not do anything when you like pull it. So, now that you have that, you're going to take the, uh, the key ring. Hold on, I gotta get mine. Alright, you're gonna take the key ring and you're going to attach it to the paper clip. And it should look like this. And then that should look like that. That way, when you pull it, what's going to happen is it's going to bend the uh, paper clip and come out. And then, yeah, it'll look like that, obviously. And then you can, all you have to do is to put it back in, or to put it back in, all you have to do is bend this back as straight as you can again, stab it through. And you can just pop it back on your Semtex, and it'll work again. So that's how you kind of make the cap part. 
if I ever get any more of the uh, eraser stuff, I can't remember how much it cost because I got this like a long time ago. If I get any more of the uh, kneadable eraser, then I will show you how to make the entire thing because, I mean, everything else I pretty much know that I have. I know I have a ball. I can get some more wire. I have a whole crap ton of wire just sitting in my toolbox. I know I have electrical tape. I got a whole roll of it. Batteries are easy to find. I can just steal another pin from my sister. Key ring. I have a whole crap ton of keychains I can just take and pop. I'll just drink a pop and use that. But um, yeah, the only thing I have to buy is pretty much the eraser. And uh, so if I ever buy any more or get any, then I'll show you guys the entire video on how to make it. But I just I made this and I thought it was sweet, so I wanted to show you. We haven't been making very many videos, I know, but uh, the only reason we haven't is because of school, and it's just kind of hard for both of us to get together on the weekend, And uh, but it doesn't, well, we're going to be making more videos soon, don't worry, like, I'm going to get a new camera for Christmas, so we'll have better quality videos, <clears throat> and uh, like I said, I'll, I'll show you guys how to make this if I ever get any more of that uh, eraser.